Optical barcodes have become an indispensable minutia in today's digital era. In this work, we rethink barcodes in the context of additive manufacturing and 3D printing. All 3D printers print layer by layer. However, no existing physical tagging method utilizes this fact when embedding information. We propose layer code, combining the concept of barcodes with the printed layers of 3D printers. To address the challenges of complex shapes, we use local ratios to encode information in a graph-based image decoding scheme. The local ratios of adjacent layer thicknesses are reliably preserved across different surface perspectives and curvature. In the decoding stage, our graph-based method enables us to sidestep shadows, highlights, and uncertain image regions to decode robustly. To evaluate layer codes, we demonstrated successful deployment in three types of the existing 3D printers and test our methods on real-world photos. Two-color printing, varying layer heights, and alternating resins mixed with invisible near-infrared dye. The first is two-color printing. One can print an object in two colors and the woven heights of each color is carefully calculated by our method. Similar to previous tagging research, we can query a database to retrieve related information about the object or geometry. While this realization of tagging introduces visual layering, it requires zero change to existing software and hardware. In certain applications, however, appearance preservation is desired. We explored two additional fabrication approaches that aim to offer this feature. Next, we consider variable layer heights. Conventionally, the printing layer height is chosen once in the beginning and the slicing tool will generate uniform slices for the entire print. From the factory slicing tool, we can generate two G-code files of different layer heights. We then methodically stitch both files together, generating a new printer-ready G-code file that weaves together the two layer heights. This allows for alternating layered prints of the same color and material, which are less noticeable to the eye, but can still allow for image processing and decoding. Resin-based printers are also amenable to layer code tagging. In this case, to further reduce visual artifacts, an Autodesk Ember printer uses near-infrared dyes that alter the invisible spectrum response of prints. Here is a near-infrared piece printed in our modified Ember setup. The layer code at first appears invisible to the naked eye, but with a filter the code is clearly visible and ready for decoding. To fabricate these pieces, the printer needs to alternate between two resins, one with dye and one without. The Ember printer was originally designed to only support a single resin tray, mainly limited by its build plate. We replace it with our custom designed build plate that supports two trays. We CNC milled the new metal plate and replaced the old plate. We also update and deploy our own firmware to support a new tray swapping operation. Now we can support two tray printing. Now we present three new use cases enabled by these layer code implementations. All three layer code types support outdoor decoding out of the box. In particular, we want to highlight near infrared tagging. This video is taken in uncontrolled daylight. With an infrared filter, we can immediately see the layers clearly and decode objects outdoor in the wild. From the embedded layers in a single image, we not only decode tags, but also use them to estimate depth. Since they have a unique geometric structure, the appearance of these layers can be reinterpreted as a parallel light pattern projected on the object. This type of structured light technique is widely studied in computer vision. We can then use the estimated depth to directly manipulate a 2.5D image and synthesize new images from novel viewpoints. Layer code tags are robust against damage. Inevitably, from time to time, the prints will get damaged. Even when a non-trivial part of an object is damaged, we are still able to construct a graph and decode the tag. Moreover, given the depth map we estimated, we can perform a shape matching procedure to overlay the original mesh as a visualization for virtual repair. In addition to these physically fabricated examples, we also test our algorithm on a virtual dataset with 4,835 meshes. For all the detailed experiments that we perform, please refer to the paper. Here we highlight two experiments. We attempt to decode each mesh from 30 unique viewing angles and find that 99% of our tested shapes can be successfully decoded. We also test the robustness of decoding against the deterioration of the input geometry. We keep punching holes in the cheese wedge until our decoding fails. We are able to continue decoding even as fine features emerge. We plan to open source our code and software hardware modifications to facilitate future research. Thank you.